Ah, where am I today? People lining up to get in. Wow, what a fucking line. Holy shit. Holy shit. The Bernie Sanders rally. First rally in Brooklyn, New York. Ah, all the progressives are out. Woo, look at this line. You, there's a line far as the eye could see. All the way around that corner. Holy shit. I thought he can't win. He can't win. He's too old. He's a fucking socialist. I don't know, man. Somebody. <laughs> People on this line didn't get the message. He can't win. That's what they said. Marcus Conti reporting at the Bernie Sanders rally. It's a long line, man. I don't know if I'm going to get in myself. Damn, this shit is all the way around the block. This is no joke right here. So there's the event, right? You gotta be somebody very special to get impressed. I, I don't fucking know. Ah, there it is, man. Feel the burn. The line is is literally a mile long. Right? It's all the way around the campus. Right? And it's only it's still an hour to get in. There's some of the lucky people in front. Amazing man, he can't win. Hi, how are you? So what are you selling here? You got some t-shirts? I got some t-shirts, tote bags, bandanas, all the proceeds go to the Bernie campaign, obviously. Are you a, are you a hacker or are you a, a, someone who's going to vote for Bernie Sanders? Oh, of course I'm going to vote for Bernie Sanders. What kind of question is that? I thought he can't win, though. But how come there's so many people? The line goes all the way around the... I just got here. The line's all the way around the corner. Never say never. It's unbelievable. I mean, there's... A, there's all these people are not going to fit inside. You agree? I think, I, I guess so, but we can see it actually from right here, so I think we'll all be good. Right, right. Who's this? Who are these folks? Oh, there you go. That was from uh, 2016. 2016? Yep. Right. Good talking to you. Thank okay. you. So the line is just is just impressive. So I've talked. i to get some people going on here. How you doing, man? Can he win? What do you think? Marcus Conti reporting. How are you? He can win. The Democrats will do everything they can to screw him over like they did last time, you know. So it's it's a tough country to live in, you know, politically. The What's different this time? He got screwed the last time. What's different this time? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's still going to be tough. Mm. But it's fun to get out here and talk about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good talking, man. Ah... I gotta find some millennials. Just nothing but line. Look at that line. What a line. These are the these are the tried and true. You guys are tried and true, Bernie Sanders? What do you think? Of course. How long have you been waiting for? About an hour. About an hour. Yeah. I think you'll get you'll get in, you because you're close to the uh, so, uh, so are you a uh, Sander? You mind talking to me? Are you? Uh, where are you from? Uh, just independent journalist, Marcus Conti, uh, Marcus like Jimmy Dore, kind of progressive uh, okay. voice. Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, a little, a little out there, but sure. uh, but uh, so here we are again, 2000, 2019. Bernie got the shaft the last time, Democratic Party. What's different this time? Well, he's been in the Democratic leadership since the twenty sixteen election when he lost the nomination to Clinton. He was right. worked with Clinton immediately after right. sorry. losing the nomination. Hold so on a second. Worked with Clinton immediately after losing the nomination. So I think before, obviously there's a system that we can't really do much about in terms of the Democratic leadership, but I think Bernie's worked his way into 
that system without compromising his politics. And so now not only does he have a winning message, which he had then and still has now, but now he might have the traction that he needs to get it done. But, but, but you know, just the, um, okay, he's for universal single-payer health care. Sure. He's for free college tuition at city and state universities. Sure. He's got all the policies, but what's stopping... What's why? Why should the Democrats admit it that the, the you know the elections are rigged, right? They admitted it in open court, the NC fraud lawsuit, right? So I, I say to you, I mean, I, I love it, and I'm here, and uh, we're all here. But what what stops him from doing what he did the last time, which is get halfway there and then turn it over to uh, Kamala Harris or Joe Biden or one of the other shit sandwiches? Well, like I said, right after he right after he. Right after Hillary Clinton won the nomination, he started working with her and others. Did, did she win the nomination or did she steal the nomination? I, I, well, th this speaks to my point. I, th I think I agree with you on this. But right after she got the nomination, we'll say, okay. um, he started working with her to work with the Democratic National Convention Committee to to water down the superdelegate system. And now the superdelegate system is watered down. I, th I don't... I'm not even sure. I think they they don't even they're not going to use superdelegates or superdelegates won't be but won't play as much of a role. So. They could still rig the machines. They could still close down primaries. They could still not count votes like they did in California, like they did in, right here in Brooklyn, 200,000 votes. Yeah. I'm just playing devil's advocate because I I want I want to see it happen, you know, but but uh yeah. but well, there's uh, stuff that'll always happen. Right. Um, but I think he's building a winning coalition now that can do better than the dirty stuff. <laughs> Overcome the margin of cheating. I think so, yeah. Thank you for your time, man. I appreciate it. Ah, the faithful. Hey, can I guys talk to you guys about uh, Bernie Sanders? No? All right. Thank you for your time. Who wants to talk about Burns? So, I have a question. Um, wow, what a line. So I don't know. I mean, what, I, I think the, the, the message is in the people, right? The message is always in the people. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you guys want to go on the record? Mark Scott, you're reporting. You want to talk about Bernie Sanders? Yeah, I'm okay. You're good? Okay. Hey, you want to talk about Bernie Sanders? Uh, no, thank you. All right. Are you a uh, are you a progressive? Are you an intellectual? Are you a Trump supporter? <laughs> and all kinds of news. Oh, damn! I feel so. S are you a socialist? Hi. Are you a socialist? Marcus Conti reporting. How you doing? Neighbors always said I was a socialist. <laughs> Say again. My neighbors, people that have known me for years, said I have socialist views. Is Bernie Sanders a socialist? Well, he's considered himself one for years, but, you know, so I guess he is. I guess he is, huh? <laughs> you think he can win this time? What, what, what do you think? You think he can overcome the margin of uh, cheating? I hope so, because, I mean, I, I, I really I have totally backed him ever since he started. You, know. you don't, you don't, uh, you don't. It doesn't. Does it bother you that uh, that he's promoting the Russia Gate thing, the fake Russia, 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 Russia did it, or does that doesn't bother you? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. I don't. I, I really haven't thought about that one that much. I guess. But he's for all the right policies: single payer health care. Right, right. His policies are great. Free free college at city and state universities. Yes. What yes. else do you like about him? Um, he has really great energy and. He really cares about the people, you know, everybody, not just, you know, the people, the big and powerful people. He cares about all the workers and the common people. Think he could beat Trump? That's a nightmare that we even end up with Trump. I, I think he can beat Trump. You can beat him? Yeah, I mean, last time he didn't even want to debate with Trump because he's too, too chicken. chicken uh, Trump was chicken, you know? Right. Yeah. And he had more energy to run more rallies and do more debates than either Trump or Hillary. 
So I, I think he's in way better shape than either one of them. His age doesn't bother you at 77, 79, whatever? No, his mind is running for president. And, I mean, his volunteers say that they can barely keep up with him physically with all, you know, his energy. Right, right. And I'm sorry. Roosevelt was in a wheelchair, so, I mean, you know, get over the age. That's a good point. Yeah, get over the age. You know? Even if he got one good even if he got one good term, that's that's a lot, right? Yeah, because this company, uh, this country needs tremendous repair, and we need someone who's capable and has the energy and the mind and knows how to go about communicating Thank with you. people, all kinds of people, in order to repair it. Got and it. Bernie has that. Good. Hey, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. <laughs> I like Bernie. He's the best. How you doing? Hey, you want to talk about Bernie Sanders? How are you, man? I'm awesome, man. Are you good? You loving it? You think you can win this time? What do you think? Hey, can I get on? I think there's can a I get good on this chance. Side? Yeah. My wife could tell, probably talk a little yeah, bit more about that. I'm I think there is a, a very, little, very good chance. I'm having a little joystick problem because I think there's too much joy in the crowd. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> It is certainly a, uh, a positive, fired-up crowd. It's nice to see with the weather and all. It's unbelievable, the uh, sheer amount of people. The line goes all the way around the, around the block, uh, estimating, what, 20,000, 30,000 people, right? Yeah, and uh, parking was, you know, pretty tough to find. We came from out of state, but, you know. Where are you from? From Jersey. Well, it's out of state. Out of state, Jersey. <laughs> yeah, bra- braving the elements uh, to show support. It's, you know, it's important. So, so... So 2016, were you uh, a supporter in 2016? Yeah, we were. We did some organizing, some door knocking, and uh, we were happy with the effort. And especially that a lot of the base has sustained its uh, momentum until now. Right. Hold on. What could he? What could Bernie do differently this time? You know what it is? There's too many. There's too many Bluetooths in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> so he. He's. I'm sorry. He. So he, he sustained his energy through throughout. That seems to be obvious. He raised six. Ten million dollars the first few days out, a million people, and here we are. Can he can he overcome the margin of cheating? Absolutely. Um, g- groups like Our Revolution are leading the way uh, to make sure that the his base is um, very diverse and uh, expanding. But how does that how does that stop the cheating? How does that stop the Democrats from coming in, rigging the machines, closing the primaries, shenanigans, guys like you know you, you know you know, do I. Russia, Russia did it. Yeah, everything uh, that goes wrong is Russia. What did we see? We saw, as usual, Michael Moore put out a very, very poignant film uh, exposing the uh, party politics and how uh, Bernie was, you know, kind of pushed aside in many states for Hillary. Kind of pushed aside. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, um, people are waking up and they're saying, you know what? It's you know. The, the party line politics literally are, are hopefully a thing of the past. What about the rest of the uh, candidates? What happens? Are you uh, blue no matter who? Well, uh, ironically, it, the Democratic field looks a lot like the Republican field from the last time around. And uh, what we'll see is a natural whittling until, um, you know, hopefully Bernie's standing on top. Good talking to you, man. Yeah. Good talking. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So, again, the line is just... Anybody who says he doesn't draw a crowd is lying, right? There's no media online. They're just, they'll be inside. They'll say, ah, there's a couple of people. This is a, a massive, massive crowd. Massive crowd. It's a massive crowd. That's all I could say. I gotta ask you guys a question. How you doing, Marcus Conti boy? So, uh, how long you been waiting to get in uh, C Bernie? Oh, about uh, five minutes. F- no, no, uh, half an hour. About half an hour. Yeah. So, are you a uh, you? Are you from 2016? You uh, voted yes. for Bernie. Yes. You think you can win this time? I'm hoping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How's he gonna overcome the cheating? I think he has. He definitely. I feel like he has changed uh, the Democratic Party so yeah I, I feel I, I think I can trust that the process will be fair this yeah. time what's different this time what about the last time well obviously the other candidates are already yeah right and you what saw his, uh, 
campaign ad that opened up. Everyone, not everyone, many more people are into Medicare for All. Right. right. Uh, what else? Yeah. But that, uh, what the, my question is, I get it. For absolutely, single payer health care, yeah. co- free college tuition, city right. and state universities, get money out of politics. Yeah. My question is, how does he? How does he? The, look at the look at the amount of people out here. Yeah. Yeah. There's no candidate that's going to do that. Yeah. Correct. But how does he overcome the Democrats cheating him like they did the last time? That's that's what well, I'm trying I to get. Think from what I hear, the DNC being a bit more transparent this time around. Again, that's what I hear. I don't know if it's true or not, right? So the way they've uh, set up the primary, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call the uh, um, super delegates? No, 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 no. The uh, the debates. Yeah. Right. They've had some basic thresholds that we all know about, but it's not going to be a JV varsity situation. It's going to be uh, two days. In fact, there's four debates, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Right. He's also getting out a lot earlier too, right? right? He's getting out earlier. Yes. And he's just riding his own wave that he started, uh, what, four years ago? Mm-hmm. Right? And you definitely don't have an anointed candidate now. Yeah. <laughs> right. How do we know that? I mean, c- clearly, Kam- Kamala is favored by the media. It seems like she may be the little favorite in the, in the DNC, yeah. But uh, they are not overtly pushing her either. Seems so, so far. Yeah. So, all right. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Oh no, I, I I I I agree that I agree that he's he's the candidate of choice of the people. Yeah. I think that if he is the Democratic uh, nominee, that he'll be the president. I think he'll be Trump. Yeah. Uh, I have serious doubts based on the 2016 record that he could overcome the margin of cheating. Are you? Let me ask you this: Are you, uh, no matter who, blue? If if he if it turns out he doesn't get through the through the hoop, are you going to still vote blue? Yeah, ab- absolutely. Yeah, we have to. I mean, we have to. No, you don't have no a Chomsky choice. Chomsky said uh, four or five years ago, you got to hold your nose and vote for Hillary. So, if Bernie's not the candidate, we're going to hold our nose and vote blue because we don't want these racist morons running the country anymore. And I really think we need to start talking about 2016. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, we need to stop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to stop interviewing these ex-Clinton staffers. They need to shut up. Clinton is no longer in the picture, and that's it. They need to disappear. Yeah. We don't want to hear from them. It's a new. It's a new era, right? Exactly. It's a new time. We need to turn the page. Hey, thank you, guys. Thank you. Where are you from? Word. Uh, New York. Uh, Marcus Conti. I'm a uh, independent journalist. Okay. You know, and, uh, that's good. Yeah. Are you on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, Marcus Conti, yeah. C-O-N-T-I? C-O-N-T-E. T-E, thanks. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you some. We'll look you up. Right. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hey, you guys want to talk about Bernie? A little bit? Sure. sure. Give me your insight. Sure. So, uh, you guys are... You guys are too young to vote. Are you, are you no, old enough to I'm vote? I'm 18. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah so true. I'm not a citizen, though, so, you know. You're not a citizen? <laughs> I'm here for support. Well, that doesn't matter in this country. You can vote anyway if you're not a citizen. You just have to... No. So, right. so Bernie, Bernie, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's running again, 2016. Mm-hmm. He's got a line around the corner in Brooklyn. Yeah. In yeah. the middle of nowhere, all across He's the country. He's multiple, actually. We were driving around here, and it's like on every corner... Of every entrance, there's a huge yeah, line we're, going on. we're from on. Jersey, so we drove, yeah. we drove for Bernie. Come from overseas to see Bernie, Jersey? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, of course. <laughs> He's awesome. Yeah. So, so you you didn't vote the last time because you're not old enough, right? Right. But this time is, um, were you paying attention the last time? You must have been like 12, 15? We were, we were, in the, we were sophomores. Um, so we like were 16. like, we were like 15, 16. Yeah, yeah. We, we knew what was up. Yeah. We were following it. So, so why is why is Sanders why is Sanders the, the choice this time? What do you think? Um, just because he 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 he's the candidate that like is most concerned about like the people and like welfare programs um, and for like what's best for like everyone. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bernie 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 I mean, you can't you can't deny the turnout. It's just. It's yeah, just an yeah. unbelievable turnout. No, do you see, think? Do you, especially with the snow right now, like we thought it would deter people away, but I mean, <laughs> it hasn't, right? It really hasn't. No. He reaches such a broad demographic. Like you would think, like for being like an older guy, there'd be like a generational gap in like ideas and like politics, but no. Like he he reaches every demographic, which gives him an awesome shot. Yeah. What about what about the cheating though? Do you think that uh, Hillary Clinton and the Democrats cheated him the last time? Because that is the 
that's the obstacle for a lot of people, the Bernie bust crowd. I mean, personally, I, I kind of think that, like, the DNC knows what they're doing because they've been doing it for so long. I think um, last year, or the last, like, presidential election, I personally don't think they made the right choice, but, like, I also kind of trust them. Like, the DNC has been doing it for so long that they kind of know how to run it. So they made a choice. It wasn't an election? Uh, no, I think, I think, I think it, how, I think it is, right? What? For what? For the DNC, how they, how they make the, um, the, do they, do they elect the, um, candidate or is it like yeah, a choice of the DNC? Yeah, no, they're voted. Yeah, they're, vo- they're voted on it, right? Yeah. Right. So, all right, let's, let's, we'll cheer it up a little bit. Bernie Sanders is the candidate, right? Yeah. He's a Democratic candidate. He, can he beat Trump? Um, I hope so, but I think that unfortunately, like the people who were alienated by Trump aren't necessarily going to go for Bernie. I think they're going to look for someone who's more moderate. But I mean, yeah. I hope he can by these numbers. But I think even those disenfranchised by Trump wouldn't quite go for Bernie. Well, here's the deal: so you got 25 percent of the country is Republican that are going to go for Trump. You've got maybe 20, maybe 30 percent Democrat that'll go for whoever's blue and you got this huge amount of independence Mm -hmm. right so statistically if bernie sanders is the candidate he'll be the president does that make sense yeah yeah i see what you're saying hey good talking to you guys man thank you thank you very much yeah trying to get perspective let me get some perspective young people not even old enough to vote She's not a citizen because she's from New Jersey. <laughs> hey, can I see your sign? That's an old sign. Yeah, 2016. Oh, I got one yeah. of those too, man. Yeah. You got it upside down, right? Oh, upside down, yeah. There you go. <laughs> got to plug your can to the, yeah. the right side up, man. Yeah, absolutely. So, um... Uh, so what do you think? Could he win this time? What's different? You were there the last time? Um, absolutely. Absolutely. I see this huge line. It's for his first rally of the year. People are excited. People are excited. Peop- yeah, it's unbelievable. People have seen f- nearly four years of Trump now. They're ready to get him out. CNN will they're be ready. like, yeah, he's too old, though. They're just they're coming for... There's, there's, nobody, there's nobody here. That's yeah. It, right? Yeah, no doubt. They'll try to undermine him any way they can, but, but they can't stop the sheer amount of excitement that people have for him. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and he's getting out. He's getting out much early. So, what about the uh, what about the, the dirty Democrats? Could he could he overcome the margin of cheating this time? Um, Do you agree that there was cheating? Oh, absolutely. It was a it was rigged a hundred percent, and and those were proved in the DNC in the DNC leak uh, by WikiLeaks. You know, that's a proven thing. That's not even something people can argue at this point. Um, can he overcome it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I I think he can. I think he can. I think people saw what what was done to him in 2016, and people are mad and people are motivated even more than 2016. I think. So are you are you uh, vote blue uh, no matter who? If if he gets the shaft again, are you gonna vote for? Are you gonna vote for a shit sandwich? <laughs> you know, I can't. I can't say. I can't say that I would. I, I couldn't bring myself to vote for Hillary in 2016. Um, Who'd you vote for? You mind if I ask? Jill Stein? Well, I, I would have voted for Jill Stein, but she wasn't on the ballot in South Dakota. So, oh, gotcha. so I couldn't vote for Jill Stein, but I would have. Um, no, no, I, I, I can't bring myself to vote for someone that's, that, you know, if they're not going to promise, um, if they're not going to make real, real promises to people, you know, people are hurting right now. People are hurting, and, and if they're going to give us another neoliberal candidate that's not going to promise us anything, not going to give us anything, then what's the point of even voting out Trump? Right. What's the big? What's the number one issue for you? Uh, I mean, income and wealth inequality in this country country is disgusting. Yeah. One in seven on food stamps. The one tenth of one percent is you know controlling all the wealth. Ninety nine percent of people starving. Yeah. Like those are the issues. And Sanders and the, the Republicans certainly aren't talking about it. But yeah. Again, the, do you think uh, you think the banks are going to line up to support Bernie Sanders? No, no, they're definitely not. And and you know, just like 2016, they're throwing all their support behind anyone that they think can beat Bernie. Um, and that's what they're going to do this time. Let me ask you a last question. How, how old are you, by the way? You mind if I ask? I'm um, I'm 22. 22. All right. So, do you think that uh, I forgot the question? <laughs> I forgot my question. Oh, good. I had a really good question, but okay. I, it was it was. So what else, man? What else? Uh, 
wow i just got a, a my I'm, I'm i'm three times your age so I, it's like <laughs> it's cold and i get forgetful but uh i mean I, i'm hopeful i think that uh you know i think that that cheating element uh yeah. That cheating element is is a big problem. Oh, yep. do you think that uh, do you think that Russia hacked the election? <laughs> no, you know it's McCarthyism all over again. You know, blame everything on the Russians. But Bernie's repeating it though. What, what do we do about that? Is it okay? You know, there there are some things that some talking points of the establishment that Bernie has started repeating recently, and and it's really too bad, but. But, you know, I think that at the end of the day, the American people are concerned with the issues, not with Russia. And, you know, if Hillary actually motivated progressive ac progressives, actually gave real promises to people that were hurting in 2016, she would have motivated um, people, enough people to overcome the so-called influence that Russia played in our election. Um, so Russia's really not the issue here. It's about getting a good candidate that can beat Trump. Yeah. Hey, good talking to you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Mark Scotty. <laughs> guys voting for Bernie? <laughs> of course. Right. Uh, can I ask you guys a couple questions? I'm just, I'm just trying to survey the crowd. So so here we are. It's uh, 2016. Right? Sure. It's two years, three years later. Were you here the first time? No, I was not. Would you, you, you didn't vote the last time? I did. I was been a Bernie supporter, um, but you know, unfortunately, things were not in the cards last time. Because they cheated him, right? Uh, you know, I think he'll have fewer barriers uh, into being the primary candidate this time, or the the final candidate for the. So if he's the candidate, he'll win, right? I believe so. Yes. What's the number one issue that you're uh, you're, you're behind with Sanders this time around? Um, well, I, I identify with his message of um, serious wealth inequality in this country, and I think it's, you know, uh, could lead to, you know, pretty bad politi uh, economic situation for young people in the future. So I think I heard I heard the banks that supporting the idea of uh, getting Bernie Sanders so that they could get broken up. What do you think about that? Do you hear that? So, um, they they what? Yeah, they secretly, you know. Like Cohen, they secretly want an out, so they want to, no. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna vote for Bernie because, oh, what do, you, what do you think about, what do you think about the Democrats? They'd rather lose to Trump than win with Bernie. Because if they win with Bernie, it's over for them, right? Um, well, no, I think what they need to realize is that this is the, this progressive young base is really the future of the Democratic Party. So, um, so I think, um. Tsunami, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Good talking to you, man. Burn, burn on me. Yeah, man. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. Good talking to you. I was like confused, like, because I never even knew, too, like, how far we was to get into this. I don't know, but all the business candidates are going to be getting, you know, getting Ooh, money and donations from outside. Hey, Doug. Want to go on the record? Hey. Marcus Conti reporting. No? Okay. Ooh, hi. How are you guys doing? Can I talk to you? I bring you into my frame. Marcus Conti reporting. I'm curious about uh, what's bringing people out this time to support Bernie Sanders. Uh, Who are you with? I'm uh, with uh, myself, uh, Marcus Conti. I'm a very, very famous YouTube independent journalist on YouTube. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm up there. With, I'm, up, I'm in the big leagues. Oh, great, great. <laughs> I'm not with Fox. Great. Okay. <laughs> so, so, uh, so here we are. It's 2019, I think. <laughs> Last check, and Bernie's running again. He draw a crowd around the around the around the block in in you know 20,000 people and in um, in Brooklyn. What's the number one issue? Why are you here? Well, we are here. I think first of all, I believe I'm here because I believe in Bernie's integrity and and his conviction for the things he stands for, uh, and very specifically, I'm here for Medicare for all. I think that medical coverage is, is vitally important. Long overdue, right? Long overdue, sir. College tuition, city and state universities free, get money out of politics. It's all good stuff, right? It's all good stuff. What what keeps what keeps the Democrats from cheating cheating them again so that the oligarchy stays in place? Well, I just hope it's a good memory of what happened last time. And um, 
and that we won't, the Democratic Party won't allow it to happen again. I don't think so. What's different about it this time? Well, I think I think we're just a lot wiser now, and we, we saw what happened, and we saw the result of what happened. That manipulation was a total failure, and uh, and Hillary lost, and uh, and everyone noticed that. So I'm going to have to excuse myself now. Yeah, good talking to you, man. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. The message is in the people. Other but people. Hi, man. Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. So, uh, Bernie Sanders, can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. Hey, cool. So, Bernie Sanders is uh, running again. It's 2019. Did you vote the last time? You don't go, You don't yeah. look old enough. Yeah, I voted. I'm 30. Are you 30? Uh, <laughs> well, that's good. Know. It was a compliment, right? Well, let me get on this side, you guys. So, um, so here we are again. Uh, we'll walk. Come on, come on. I don't want to hold you up. So, do you think that uh, you think that what, what's the big issue here? Why why didn't he get elected the last time? The people loved him. Uh, I think it was more an issue of name recognition. You have to remember the primaries were mostly over, and it was mathematically almost impossible for him to win by the time he even reached fifty uh, percent name recognition nat- nationwide. So, I mean, this time he doesn't have that disadvantage. That's off the table, right? Huh? Yeah, that's off the table. The uh, name recognition, everybody yeah, knows him. Yeah. Most he popular is, he has candidate. As much as anybody else in the uh, race, and I think he's the presumptive front runner at this point. Well, what stops the Democrats from putting the, you know, putting the hatchet in his back like they did the last time, cheating him? You don't think? Did they cheat him? I think the, uh, yeah, I think. I wouldn't say that they went so far as to steal votes or anything, but they definitely did some unfair things to uh, weight the. Um, primaries in Hillary Clinton's favor, for example, uh, scheduling debates on the statistically least uh, TV watching days in the, um, in, in the year. Uh, for example, I think it was the Sunday before Christmas Eve they scheduled one of the very few right. debates they had, yeah. uh, which is the, literally the, wor- the least viewership uh, day of the entire year. I mean, they were definitely trying to suppress. So last office. time it was Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Now it's, uh, what's that guy's name? The, Perez. Uh, yeah, Tom, Tom Perez. Perez is the DNC chair. Is he better than Debbie Wasserman Schultz? Uh, yeah, I mean, anything's an improvement over Schultz. But uh, he definitely re- uh, represents more of an establishment figure than, um, for example, uh, what was his name who ran against him? Um, Ellison, Keith Ellison, who right. I would have preferred in leadership. But Perez is, you know, I don't know, he's he's shown some good reforms, for example. Um, uh, what did he do recently? <laughs> he has shown it's some positive out. reforms. But, uh, the brain freezes when it's cold. I'm yeah. <laughs> feeling it. Yeah, he's... Um, He's also, like, as the head of the DNC, he's not willing to ban the Democratic Party members from taking fossil fuel money. So he's not, he's certainly not left of, uh, left of center. I think he's more of a center, center-right type figure. Um, and, you know, he's along with the party establishment. But I think they've learned their lesson from the last time. I mean, center-right candidates crater. I mean, that it's if you, if you look at uh, any polling data the, there's a myth of the moderate independent but there's no polling data to back that up it's just a, but is there any is there any data that the democrats actually want to win with bernie when they rather lose to trump and keep everything keep the status quo going because that is the sentiment amount not 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 the bernie tried and true but a lot of people on the perimeter right now feel like hey we were you know that that the the democrats will they'll get him in there and then or they won't get him in there, and they'd rather just lose to Trump another four years and, you know, hope for... Does that make sense to you? Or is it yeah, well, well, I don't love the Democratic hey, establishment. They don't like Trump. We're allies. We have a common goal of defeating Trump, so in that we're allies. When they oppose us on um, policy like Medicare for All, we'll oppose them. But when our interests align, we'll align with them. You know? If Sanders doesn't make it through, are you uh, blue no matter who? I mean, I don't like that term, but, yeah, I guess from all the candidates that have been announced, yeah. I mean, anything, we need to oppose Trump. For what do you think about Tulsi Gabbard? Um, I like her, but her ties to um, uh, right-wing um, organizations in India really need to be explored more, especially her associations and her kind of... She needs to distance herself from Modi. I mean, Modi, like, for example, when he was a governor, um, oversaw a... the 
crackdown on a Muslim, a very large Muslim group in which like many people died. And I've never really seen Tulsi Gabbard been willing to come strong enough against that kind of action in Modi's uh, right wing government. Um, so I, I have concerns with Tulsi Gabbard, but I definitely do respect the fact that she was willing to, um, you know, stand by her principles and endorse Bernie Sanders in the uh, initial election. Good deal. Even though it cost her politically. Yeah, he did. She. That was the thing about the DNC. She supported. Uh, Who are you with, by the way? Uh, just an independent, independent oh, okay. journalist. You could. It'll be up on YouTube. I'm. I'm rather. Uh, rather popular. I'll give you a call. Rather, I'm so famous on YouTube, it's unbelievable. I can't stand myself. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'll give you one or two. <laughs> All right, yeah. My, Just one. Oh, cool. Good. Hey, good talking to you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> wow, what a line. There's some good feedback, right? Try to pick the mind of the voter. Well, the people that think that their vote counts. Does it count? I hope so. We could pick candidates in the back room with c smoking cigars. That's what the DNC said. Remember? DNC fraud lawsuit. Right? In court, that's what they said. Hey, can I talk to you guys? Hey, Mark's County reporting. So, uh, how you doing? How are you, man? So, uh, here we are again. So, uh, you guys, are, are you old enough to vote? We are, yeah. You're old enough? Cool. Did you vote in 2016 or no? Uh, yes. You did? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so uh, here we are. It's there's a, uh, The line is wrapped around the block. <laughs> CN couple of blocks. Yeah. Couple of blocks. CNN is saying he can't win. He's too old. He's a socialist. He's... <laughs> Jewish, he's this, he's that, he's, he can't win, but uh, the people no, seem to think otherwise, you agree? We, we agree, we're hopeful, so that's all that matters, right? So, yeah. <laughs> what's going what's gonna to keep him from, uh, what keeps him from the Democrats from cheating again? What do you mean cheating? What do I mean cheating? Well, let me get on this one. So, so it was widely, widely believed uh, that the Democrats... Uh, stacked the deck against them in many ways. Um, they, you know, uh, the exit polls didn't match. Uh, the DNC, in their own words, admitted that the uh, the election was rigged. That they can pick the candidate, the super delegates, uh, purging 200,000 votes uh, here, right, right here in Brooklyn, purging two hundred thousand voters off the. Road. So that's that's evidence of uh, election fraud. Doesn't bother you. No, I mean, it bothers me. It's pretty, like, the Democrats need to get their shit together. You think uh, Russia did all that? No. But no way, right? No. That's Bernie Sanders is on the, he's on the, I, I'm just being, I, I'll, I'll cheer it up in a, in a minute, but I'm just curious, because this, as a, as, a, as a journalist, this is the, the yeah. obstacle of the, of the decade. Can, if Bernie Sanders has the support of the people, and I think if he's the candidate, he'll win. If he's the Democratic candidate, he'll win. I think so, yes. Right. So. How do we, how do we prevent the Democrats from cheating again, and Bernie turning around saying, "Oh, just vote for a shit sandwich, uh, Camilla Harris or Joe Biden." Well, I think now that we're aware of it, they, it's hard to catch. It's hard to pull it off twice. And he's out in front. He's got a, a good head start, right? And now that since this is his second time running, it's not going to be. It's not going to be the same like uphill battle as it was before. If you can't get through the hoop, are you going to vote for anybody blue, blue no matter who? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. it. Yeah, it's better than Trump. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What do you What do you hate about Trump the most? It's it's the list goes on. Like, you talk about the DNC being corrupt, and then you just have Michael Cohen who just spent eight hours laying out Trump's dirty laundry, like that was nothing. He's got all the CIA spooks uh, trying to overthrow Venezuela right now. You heard about that? Yes. Yes. Right? Income and wealth inequality. That's the subject, right? That's... I would love some more wealth. <laughs> Me too. Hey, good talking to you guys. Thank you, for, thank you for your time. Come in, check in, and... Woo. 
My arm is starting to get tired. <laughs> hey, can I talk to you guys? Can I talk to you about your big sign? Me? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So we got this giant sign here. And my joystick is going crazy again. What does your sign say? I was going to say, I like your microphone there. It's like uh, Bob Barker. You remember Bob Barker? The, uh, I can't say I do. He's like the Price is Right. Yeah. You're the next contestant on the Price is Right. Missed out on that gem. Well, Monty oh, Hall. So what does your sign say? I, I can't sign, read. Well, this side says DNC cover up 2016 Hawk Talk 2020. Basically trying to bring awareness to uh, Sanders' seemingly unwillingness to really challenge the the main narrative coming out of the Pentagon. I thought Russia Russia hacked the election. Who told you that? <laughs> I don't know. I just uh, the TV said so. MS. That's oh, what, so you I, believe them? W- w- me? No, but Wolf Blitzer said so. You believe uh, Ra- Rachel Maddow said you don't that. You think the DNC hacked their own primary to make sure this guy did not get elected, and then after that, he decides to go al- right along blaming Russia? It's a big problem, isn't it? I think so. He's not coming clean. Well, I mean, it's not for me to say whether he was complicit from the beginning, but it is. For me to say that uh, he owes it to his supporters to hold those accountable for destroying our democracy and you know they've been using privatized voting software for 30 years now and they're probably going to do it again you know they canceled the ele- they canceled the exit polls the exit polls were exactly. off by off by 12 yeah, percent california yeah they purged they didn't count two million votes in california it, exactly so you know what i'm saying they talking purged about. they purged two i'm playing devil's advocate for you <laughs> 200,000 votes in um, Brooklyn. in Brooklyn alone. Yep. But the elections are free and fair. We should trust them, well, right? Well, I think I think this is so it, much that, so that we're that, we're allowed to go tell that, Venezuela, that, that, you better clean up your act. Exactly. That brings country. up the other part of my sign that says, "No truth, no peace, free Syria, free Venezuela." No more war. No more war. No more war on drugs that have destroyed so many lives. No more keeping people in jail because they are too poor to afford cash bail. No more war! No more war! No more war! We use exit polls in other countries to judge whether an election is free and fair. You know, supposedly there's a 2% margin of error, that's the standard um, measure. Right. For you know, when they do an exit poll to compare it to the actual results, there it's it's a statistic. Anything more analysis. than anything more than two is considered anything cheating. More than two. You had Red over flag. ten states in the U.S. where we're talking about 10, 20, 30 percent variation. So so let's let's go one step further. Bernie Sanders, sure. Bernie Sanders, somehow somehow some way the Democrats decide to not to cheat for him rather than against exactly. him. Exactly. He's the candidate. Does he beat Trump? It's a good question. The, I, I guess the the question. Do we want him to beat well, Trump well, well, under the circumstances, knowing what we know. That's a good question because you know there, there's so many people on the Trump side who think that he's actually standing up to what is colloquially known as the deep state, and you know at this point you you, you have two people on. Suppo- on two supposed extremes who claim to be opposing the deep state and their analysis of the deep state is off well both of them are incomplete both of them both of them have a lot of truth uh, in terms of different issues about the way our financial system works the way our you know trump ran an anti-interventionist campaign if you remember and so did bernie and here we are going to drain the swamps uh, trump. exactly so I don't, Bernie's going to break up, break up the banks. I don't hear. Well, how's he going to do that though? Has he explained how, like, what's going to come in the place of private banks? You know, I, I, we're on the same page. Something's. You think that give. the banks are happy about Bernie Sanders running to break up the banks? Of course not. Of course not. But the question is. And they, but they're the donors. They fund. The, they fund the election. So why? They fund they, the Democratic Party. That's for sure. So it, it beats me why he's like, how he expects to reform a party that is rotten to the core to the root in terms of the big bank you know the, the just like the entire political system being beholden to wall street i don't know how that's going to work within you know the 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 two party strategy 
without bringing in third parties, first of all, like every other country. If Bernie Sanders went on, went on a platform today, right? He's out there today and he looks into the camera and he says, he says, guess what? Russia had nothing to do with it. The Democrats, the dirty Democrats cheated me. Uh, you know, that, that Hillary Clinton and, and, and the Dem- it was WikiLe- WikiLeaks. Exactly. WikiLeaks, gave the, they got the, the source was Seth Rich. Pied Piper strategy. They the Pied Trump. Piper strategy. He, co- he, he admits it all. He comes clean on all of it. Again, Does it change? I don't know is if that is that implicit? If, if right, he, he, but but let's just say today he, at some point he turns the he turns the the, the you know the makes a turn, and 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 admits it and he apologizes to the two hundred forty million dollars that he took the last time around. Was yeah. that would that make a difference? Sure, that would make a big, dif- big that difference. Would him, that would give him a lot more credibility to me. You know, then he would personally. be un- unstoppable. I mean, I, I feel like he. For better or worse, he's already unstoppable. First of all, he won the primary by a landslide. He won, he won that election by a landslide. And same and same by the speaking of which, Trump won the general election by a landslide. They rigged the hell out of that general election too. In Madison, in Detroit, in Philadelphia, they rigged the hell out of those districts where you had a, a lot of urban like Democrat heavy District. Most of the people on most of the people that are here today disagree with this with this analysis. Right. Oh, I understand that you know that's basically going against. I'm totally with you. The by entire, the way, I think you the should probably suspect that by now. Group think like conformity in terms of U.S. politics, in terms of so-called progressivism, is that like we have to question. <laughs> we, we have to take everything from MSNBC with a grain of salt. And yet we're going to believe them when they, they're, they're cheering for Mueller and saying, oh, yeah, we, we got to hold Russia accountable. We don't have to do anything to reform our, the mechanics of our election. And the fact that private companies have been using proprietary software to count our votes. It's all rigged. It's a, it's, I mean, it's so the it, DNC it, fraud lawsuit proved it, that they, yeah. they have – there's evidence on you the know, table in a court. Shout out to Cliff Arnebeck, Bob Fetrakis. Um, Greg Palast, who else? What about so, uh, J- Jared Beck, the uh, lawyer? Course, exactly, exactly. I the just be- interviewed him last night. Go oh, you check it out. Those are yeah. modern day here. They're, they're, those people are going to go down in history for being so brave to speak the truth when it's so unpopular. And you know, they, and here they are now, like the Becks, specifically getting completely censored and their accounts stripped. Just Twitter. cut. Yeah, he said it last you night. Know, they cut him off and, of uh, Twitter. And yeah, so. I, I, in terms of your question, I don't see it ever happening. Bernie, like, uh, walking back from. Are his, you are you blue no matter who? Yeah, I think you know the answer to that question. As <laughs> soon true. as soon as the the um, the convention was over, I was there in Philadelphia. I was there talking to Bob Fetragis when when they were counting the votes in uh, Roosevelt Park outside the stadium. And as soon as that was over, and Bernie, you know. I was holding out the last minute hope that he would say something in that situation to, you know, to bring recognition to the he never, issues not only in that did, election. He never said anything there, and he never said anything in the lawsuit against the DNC. Oh. Never. Not a peep. Oh, not a peep. Not a peep. And, you know, he goes on TV and he goes, oh, there's, there's no, I think there's no question that there, there was favoritism within the DNC. But he also said there's no question that Russia did it. Exactly. Remember in the in the debate, he just said it recently again. So the, he doubled down. The, the whole. By the way, we have Caleb Maupin coming up, who's a great commentator from RT. Speaking of Russia and all those propagandists, uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's just so ironic that we would be blaming Russia when the for releasing supposedly they released the emails from Podesta. Um, when we know that Seth Rich was, uh, in all likelihood, the one who in all likelihood, them, there's no, there's no. We're proof. not going to know because there's ne- there's been no proper investigation into his death. Apparently, he was still alive, and then there was some shady stuff happening. He didn't the die corner. on the street, exactly in Washington, like yeah. they said he did, right? But you know, if you don't know who Seth Rich is, this is like this is the one tidbit that sh- shatters the entire Russia conspiracy theory because that's what it is. Because this guy was a staffer within the Democratic Party. Even even less, even more. I mean, if you were watching what Cohen said, right? Cohen said that 
<laughs> well, Cohen <laughs> said that that that, that it was people. it was Roger Stone yeah, who no. gave who he Roger Stone told Trump two months after WikiLeaks was saying it publicly that they had the goods, and that's evidence to 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 you yeah. know the sleepy masses. Yeah. The- W- WikiLeaks basically said it blows saying, up the Russia narrative. Is yeah, what I'm trying th- th- to say. Th- this guy uncovered the the, sh- the 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 cheating that was happening within the party. The ways that they were redistricting and gerrymandering and like uh, working, well, election fraud. Just all, all sorts of manners of election fraud within the party. And so he's the one who leaked the emails to WikiLeaks. And you know, all, all this time we're hearing about. A hack from Russia, and meanwhile, the the, the WikiLeaks also re- reveal that the CIA has been using software and like uh, uh, I don't know, like what the term would be, just like online warfare, like guerrilla hacking, to set up people and frame people for all sorts of crimes. Yeah. Um, anyway. Good talking to you, man. Good talking hey, to you. What's your name? Uh, Marcus Scott. Yeah, I'll give you a Marcus, call. Marcus, yeah. Pleasure. I can't shake your hand Thanks because for, I got, you all know, my hands are full. <laughs> Thanks for uh, being on top hey, of it. look me up, man. Look me up. Yeah. Good Have talking to you, man. Run. Thank right. you. Woo. What are we at? 38 minutes. Wow. So, such an interesting crowd. Definitely doesn't look like I'm going to get inside. It's just, I mean, the story really is the sheer amount of people. It's just, it's just mind-boggling. Waiting, waiting. There's no deterrent here, man. Hi, guys. Hey, can I bring you into my frame? So, um, so you here? Bernie Sanders running, running again. Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your favorite Bernie Sanders talking point? <laughs> favorite things. Uh, Why could he win? It's a lot. What's that? <laughs> Why, what's different this um, time? Well, I, I think uh, my my favorite talking point has always been just his uh, consistency with pretty much all of his talking points. So um, he's he's the real deal. He's been doing it for forty years. Do you think he could beat Trump this time? I, I, absolutely, as long as it's a fair election. Yeah. What's stopping them? What's stopping the Democrats? You hit the, you know, you hit the uh, key issue. What's stopping the Democrats from cheating this time? From oh well, <laughs> uh, I mean, I I don't li- limit that to the Democrats, but I don't think there's anything stopping them from, it, at the very least, uh, trying to uh, put their thumb on the scale like they did with uh, with Hillary. Right, right, right. No doubt, man. So here we are. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm optimistic. Are you optimistic? I'm, I'm very optimistic. I, I mean, as far as uh, the primaries go, I, I think he has a real strong chance. I think that uh, Joe Biden, maybe, uh, or Kamala Harris uh, do have a shot. But I think that, that Bernie's the front runner right now. And uh, I, as, as long as it's a fair election, I think he, he could get to the general. And in the general, uh, honestly, I, I worry about voting machine uh, security. There's a lot of problems. Uh, a lot of states like Pennsylvania, uh, Delaware, uh, California, they're getting these uh, voting machines with uh, computer marked paper ballots. And they're uh, supposedly just uh, maybe perhaps even less secure than the ones that they're replacing them with. And, and, and they're. Uh, uh, they're they're getting them in a Philadelphia. How many de- how many Democrats have spoken out about the, uh, the 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 bad machines, the rigged machines? Nobody. Has Bernie Sanders spoke out about? It? I have not heard uh, Bernie Sanders talking about. It. Actually, I I did hear. Uh, I think it was Ron Wyden who had um, um, or, or had at least tweeted about the problem. So I was glad to see that, and I just saw a Politico article uh, just uh, this morning uh, talking about the, the same problems. Uh, there's a uh, company called uh, uh, ESNS that uh, is uh, going around uh, selling 
uh, their their products to uh, county and state officials that and giving out uh, trips to Las Vegas and things like that. Yeah. All right, paid lobbyists. Hey, good yeah. talking to you, man. Appreciate yeah, it, man. Yeah, Thank sure. you. So, uh, you this for yourself or you uh, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a YouTube, uh, I'm a YouTube very, guy. very famous YouTube guy. Oh, all right. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so famous, I can't even remember my name right now because it's so cold. Okay, I'll, I'll look for you on there. So, so here, here we are, and um, I'm gonna kill it here because I wanna, I'm gonna see if I could, if I could squeak, squeak inside and get a little bit of a bird's eye view of, bird's eye view about what's going on inside. Actually close to the front of the line. Mind if I jump in? So we're inside. So there you go. He can't win, right? That's what they said. Hey, can I, guys, can I bring you guys into my frame? Mark Sconti. So I, I overheard you talking. I wasn't eavesdropping, but I heard you say that uh, Bernie Sanders is too old. He, he can't win. He's too old. No, that's he's what, too. No, that's what our friends have been saying to us, and it enrages us because we think it's a bullshit, and there's no need to age shame anyone. Um, he's healthy, and also um, that's just a cop out for. I don't know. It's a cop out. It's easy. It's an easy attack on someone, and it's not justified. It, ageism, yeah. ageism, yeah, ageism, yeah, and he's worked so hard. He hasn't stopped working, even when he lost. And so why? Plus, I don't think he's yeah. senile. No, not at all. There's no reason no way. to say any any of that. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so here we are. Would, uh, uh, are you guys old enough to have voted in the last election? Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. So, 2016 came and went. And the uh, rumor is that he got cheated. Uh, the Democratic National Committee cheated him. Hillary Clinton, they stuck the knife in his back. What's different this time? I hope that the youth will will kind of... We already started really rallying behind him during the first elections uh, that he ran. And so I hope that him losing and him being kind of taken advantage of by the whole system will kind of push more people to come forward yeah. and to yeah. show up and to vote. Yeah. It's a big problem, though, right? The uh, yeah. you guys agree? Did Russia hack the election? Oh, I don't uh, know about that. I don't know about that, but it, uh, that's what CNN said. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. I can't speak <laughs> on it, though. I have no idea. But so if he's the um, if he's if he's not the candidate, are you going to vote for uh, Joe Biden shit sandwich or uh, Kamala Harris? Oh yeah. You would. Yeah. Just to get rid of Trump. Yeah, I mean, I'd do anything to get rid of anything Trump, obviously. Trump. I, I wouldn't mind. But um, I'd much rather Bernie. But yeah. I mean, plan A is, is Bernie, and there's no plan B right now. So So single-payer health care for all, you're in? Of course. Free college tuition, city, of state, course. university? Yes, yes, Get yes, money out yes, of politics? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Right. What's all Trump for? It. Trump's going to build a wall. He's going to build a wall. He's, He's going to clean the, drain the swamp. Drain the swamp, <laughs> build the wall. He's going to lock her up. Terrible. He's going to lock her up. Yeah, no, 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 nothing, right? Nothing. Feel the burn. All the Feeling the burn. the burn. What about you guys following the, uh, oh, one more question, I'll let you go. Uh, following the Venezuela stuff, Bernie, uh, what's Bernie's stands on? We need to educate ourselves on that. Yeah. 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 But actually sure. coming here, we got a few people talking to us about it, so we're trying to learn more for sure. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Thank you for your time. Appreciate Thank it. You. I feel like you do that. It's good to
Hey, can I bring you into my frame? Yeah. Yeah. So what do we got here? We got the, he's honest. He's he's uh, smart. And he progressive. Li- and progressive. He likes birds. So. And birds like him. <laughs> so what's what's different this time? Uh, 2016, we had a rough run. Yeah. A lot of cheating. Yeah. Blaming Russia, blaming this one, blaming that one. What's different this time? Well, hopefully that revealed a lot about the process and the um, the weaknesses in the process, and it'll get people more mobilized and more active and more aware of where their vote is going. So. Do you think he beat Hillary the last time? I mean. Technically, I guess he didn't, but I think he would have had they not cheated. Right. <laughs> but I don't know that. I can't say for sure. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. There's a lot of this thing operates on. Hi, how are you? He's the artist. He's the artist. Can yeah. I bring him into my frame? Yeah. Hey, man. So what's up, man? You here for you have a Bernie Sanders? Yes. What do you like about him? Well, he's just a great person. He's gonna win, right? You think he'll beat? You like Trump? Yeah, I think he'll beat Trump. He's gonna beat Trump. So if he's the so Bernie versus Trump, Trump, uh, Bernie wins. Yeah. They're gonna. He's he's fighting for you, Bernie. Yeah. Fighting right? for your future. College tuition, city and state universities, free. Right? Free healthcare. Good talking to you, man. Thanks. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there you go. You know, it's like I mean, that, I think that's the biggest obstacle right now. Can he, can he overcome the margin of cheating? Right. And I don't and know if he does, not, but I I think that he's got a better chance this year than he did in two, or next year than he did in 2016 in that primary process because people are more aware of it and people are angry about it. Are you uh, blue no matter who or are you just Bernie? It's Bernie or nobody. Everyone's going to hate me here, but I voted uh, third party. I lived in New York. I knew it wasn't going to matter in the general election in New York. Had I lived in a swing state, um, I have a lot of family in Pennsylvania. I think I probably would have voted Hillary if I had been there, and that's where my vote was being counted. But doing it, voting here in New York, I knew I could vote third party and not Jill Stein? affect anything. Yeah, Jill Stein. Me too. Yeah. He's my man. You know, I think him and AOC would make a great, uh, a great combo. Well, she's too dies, young. Right? Ah, she, you know, she's, he's she's, too old. She's too young. No, no, well, she's Come too on. young because she's legally too young. Twenty-nine, you can't run for president. Oh. Thirty-five. Oh, look at, hey, you know, I mean, if they can accuse uh, Obama of being uh, from no Kenya, birth. you know, they can change the birth certificates. Around. What's different this time around? You think he's gonna no. overcome that cheating? I think, you know, he's just leading the pack. There's 20 people running, and he's they're all following him. So, you know, if he's got the message, it's going gonna, it's gonna to prevail. Or if somebody else comes along and surmounts what he's offering, they'll, they'll take it. So if he gets the nomination, he'll beat Trump, you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, Easy, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, he's going to take all the Trump supporters. And if he, he doesn't, doesn't do anything for them. And if he doesn't get the nomination and they give it to, you know, shit sandwich like Camilla Harris or Joe Biden, no, they don't win. Not, yeah, probably not one of them. You know, it's going to be a new. F- no. You know, we don't want the establishments anymore. You know, we've done that route. You know, Christ, Obama, Clinton. You know, look at they got us here as much as Nixon and Bush. You know, right, right. So we need a we need a new direction. Bernie's offering that. There's other people. You know, AOC's one. Pramila. Uh, you know, there's other gals and guys in the Senate and in the House that could take over. Good talking not, to you, man. Certainly not Beto, though. No, no, no. Eh, Texas cowboy. No <laughs> Good talking to you, man. Good luck with your stick. Okay. Say hello to the snowman. It's a Bernie bro social. A, uh, a Bernie bro man. It's Bernie, Bernie man. <laughs> Yeah, I got it.
The artists are coming out again. The artists are coming out for Bernie Sanders, aren't they? Hey, what's up, man? What's I bring up? you into my frame? Yeah. Marcus Conti reporting. So uh, here we are again. You were here in 2016. It's like a rerun, right? Yeah, exactly. But it's bigger and better than ever. You know, we know that from the polls in Iowa that people are warming to the term socialism and rejecting the term capitalism. The moderates don't want to run. Terry McAuliffe, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, those kinds of people, they don't want to run. So we got people like Bernie. We got people like AOC in power. We got Julia Salazar here, a TSA uh, candidate who, who won for state senate here in New York. And so my son decided to make a big snowman. We were calling it. Oh, Bernie you guys made snowman. it? Man, yeah, we made this thing. We made Bernie Man 2020, and uh, a lot of people like it. A lot of people are doing selfies with it. Yeah, no doubt, it's beautiful. I came here wanting to get a selfie with the real Bernie, but I'm gonna now. I got a really good selfie with the snow Bernie. So right, right, right. Welcome to Bernie. So, Man. so, uh, so socialism, right? The 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 Republican Party, the Democrats. They're weaponizing the term socialism. Yeah, right? well, it made, it, overcome it? it made its way into the State of the Union. Uh, you know, and if Trump hates it, a lot of people are going to like it. So Right, right. <laughs> it's funny. Love Trump's hate. Yeah, yeah, love Trump's hate. But you know what? It's it's not all about Trump. It's about the fact that we need we have to have a society that cares about human needs. You know, we can't have a profit motive being health care. It just doesn't. You know, people are, are, are sick of getting scalped every step of the way, right? Right. You know, we need heroes. We need people to stand up and really, like, do something for the people. And the fact that Bernie is so popular, he's the number one most popular politician in America. That's an incredible stat. Yeah, but Trump's building a wall. He's going to lock her up. He's straining the swamp. Shouldn't we just stick with... Oh. <laughs> you, talk, <laughs> you talk bad about Trump and you, you, your stick goes wild. So, so what... Um, how do we... So, so why, why not just stick with Trump? That's what people watching this are going to say. Well, Trump is a fascist. Trump is uh, a nationalist, and he's full of anger and fear and corruption. Um, he only cares about making a buck. Uh, and he's, 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 he's not been limited by any sense of ethics or anything. So uh, Trump is bad news, and that's why there's like 17 different investigations into the man. Yeah. Good talking to you, man. Thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you, it. The next Thank you. 